Okay, so we're still talking about uh, the power of giving here on Tack Room Devotional. Once again, I'm Keith Brown. I'm glad you're here. I hope you're getting something out of this study. Yesterday we found out if you don't sow, you don't reap. <laughs> if you're like a farmer and you have seed in your hand and you don't ever put it in the ground, well, then you're not going to see the power of your sowing, right? God says in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, it says that he gives seed to the sower and then multiplies the seed that you sow. So if he gives you seed to sow and you don't sow it, instead you wear it or you live in it or you drive it, uh, it's just not going to, you're never going to experience the power of giving. Amen. Today, turn with me to Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. And we'll go to verse 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Verse 6 says, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Okay? This passage shows the, the connection between trusting God and giving to God. Or giving for God. Okay? In the name of God. This passage took... See, we need to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean to your understanding. Remember yesterday, we looked in Ecclesiastes and found out that, you know, the, the circumstances of, of life can keep us from sowing, keep us from giving. And yet, that only demonstrates that I don't trust God. His word tells me I'm supposed to be a giver. And if I don't want to give and I don't give, then that's saying I don't trust God. Uh, we need to trust him and rely on him. We were saved by grace, but how did we get it? By faith. Same thing when we sow and reap. We just trust him. By faith, he says to, and so I do it. He takes care of the reward. He takes care of the harvest, right? And again, in uh, uh, we do not, another thing that we've talked about this week is we do not give to get because all that God wants to give you, he has already given you and has already made available to you through the grace of God. Remember 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. It says, God is able to make all grace abound towards you. That you always, having all sufficiency in all things, will have an abundance for every good work. So you don't give to get. You give because you know that that's what we're supposed to do. We give with a cheerful heart. When I give with a cheerful heart, God takes care of the rewards. So, as we look at this scripture back in Proverbs, what are you leaning on? What are you relying on? What are you trusting on, in? Uh, if it's some, something or someone other than God, uh, what are you going to do when it fails? Did you get that? I mean, when, it, when you're... Look at... You've been doing your finances your way for all these years and it hadn't worked out. You're always short, right? So how about trying God's way? How about trusting God, relying on him, and just doing what his word says so that you can experience the power of giving? It's just something that you need to think about. Make a conscious, conscious decision today to lean and rely on God because he will never fail you or leave you. He never changes the deal. The deal's the same. He says, trust me now in this. If I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour out such blessings on you that your, your barns can't contain it. That comes from Malachi chapter 3. That's when you tithe and give offerings. Okay. Do it today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't think, well, I'll try this next week when maybe my check comes in. Man, start it today because, again, you've been trying to do your, your um, finances and run them your way for all these years and it hadn't worked. You've always been short. Every single month, you're short at making your payments. Amen? So why not just go ahead and let God have a shot at this thing? Um, he, God loves to be trusted. He loves you to have faith in him. Amen? Uh, don't be a Christian who says, I trust the Lord, and yet you uh, rob him by not giving of tithes and offerings. Or not sowing the seed that he's given you. Uh, giving is what authent authenticates true trust in God. In other words, if you don't give, how do you prove that you trust God? Well, God, I, I just don't have the finances. He says, give anyway, and I'll show you. If you'll trust me, lean not to your own understanding, 
I'll show you the way. Uh, and by the way, when you give to God, you're not trying to get God to do something because he's already done it. Like, once again, all, all of these principles are the principles of the kingdom of God. They're already in operation today. They've already been proven. They're, they're, they're already functioning. It's just you and I lining up with the word of God and doing what he tells us to do. And then again, it's manifested and we see that his principles work even here on this earth. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.